Hi, my name is Lexi Jung and welcome to my channel. Today I have with me a new exciting package. So I have actually been waiting for this. My package was delayed. I've had a bunch of mail issues recently, but I finally got my new Hermes limited edition lipsticks. So I ordered these from the Hermes website as soon as they became available and they shipped right away. So this box came packaged in kind of like this metal like tinfoil bag type thing that was you know kind of really glued down there so i cut that out and this is the box that was inside and you've got a white tab here and here we go so it says bienvenue chez hermes and inside i've got my little gift box what's this and this is just a little pamphlet Ooh, and some samples. So that's exciting. Actually, I don't have any of these shades. This has the Rouge H, Orange Boite, uh, Rouge Cassac, and Rose AP, AP say. Uh, so two mattes and two satins. And it's got this cute little lip pencil here. So definitely interested in trying those out. So that is cute. And then an envelope with, I'm assuming my order summary. Let's take a look at this. So we've got the beautiful Hermes ribbon. Oh, I hate to unwrap these packages. This one doesn't really slide off too easily, but let's see what we can do. And then we have the Hermes box. And all three of the new lipsticks. So it's actually, what day is today? Thir Thursday evening. It, it literally just got delivered and I set the kids up with Play-Doh and ran upstairs so I could film this. So we're going to go ahead and look at these. I purchased all three of the shades. These are limited edition. And one thing to know about the Hermes lipsticks is that they are refillable. So each lipstick comes in an ivory box with, you know, just a little cut out here where you can see the orange Hermes box inside and then you push this out and you have kind of a canvas bag here that has your lipstick and the limited edition lip colors are all in different color cases and they do cost more than the regular Hermes lipsticks the regular ones are $67 limited edition are $72 now each of these containers is refillable, but I don't believe limited edition colors come in refills. I have never seen them as a refill yet, but you can get the limited edition lipstick, use it up, and then put um, another refill in there. And refills are $42, I believe. I'm just gonna go ahead and unpack these boxes and I'll be right back. So just a little information on the Rouge Hermes lipstick line. It says, according to the Hermes website, it's a complete collection dedicated to the beauty of the lips. The objects designed by Pierre Hardy that are at once poetic, functional, and refillable. A durable object in lacquered, polished, and brushed metal, Rouge Hermes is protected by a canvas pouch and slipped inside its little orange box. So this is one of the regular colors. So if you purchase a part of the permanent regular line for $67, they all come in this color case. And you've got the concave Hermes logo here and your shade information down here. This one here is number 13, Beige Kalahari. This is one of the satin lipsticks. And I like this one, I, I use it a lot. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take a look at the limited edition shades. We're gonna start off with this one here. I have never tried one of the matte shades from this brand yet. This is number 54, Rose Nuit. And this is it. Okay, so it looks really pretty. So you've got the white cap down here. You have sort of a deep teal and a very pale, soft pink. And we're gonna swatch these right here on my wrist. So this is the matte formula and I apologize. I was just filming this morning and I haven't been able to get all of this swatch off, <laughs> but um, you can still see the color here. The other two shades in this collection are satin. And this one here is number 32, Rose Palmette. And you have a bright lime green, navy blue and a white top here. And this is gonna be a much more vibrant pink.
And last up, we have number 45 in Rose Ombre. And we've got this maroon shade here, sort of a powder blue, and again, the white top. And this looks gorgeous. This is definitely gonna be the most nude of the three shades. So there's kind of something here for everybody. Just a little bit more about this collection. These three shades are limited edition. And according to Hermes, it says Rose Ombre, Rose Pommette, and Rose Nuit form the second limited edition collection of Rouge Hermes. Three beauty objects lacquered in a palette of light and shade, three colors on the theme of pink, imbued with a vivid, secret, and enveloping sensuality. Mysterious signature that is subtle yet sophisticated. I'm going to go ahead and try each of these shades on my lips, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at them a little bit closer. On my lips now, I have the matte lipstick in Rose Nuit. And what it says about it is that it's a comfortable matte lipstick with a second skin effect. Rose Nuit is velvety pink, deep, soft, and muted. Its velvety powdery finish delivers intense, long-lasting color. In high concentration, its pigments release their imprint in a single application. Enriched with moisturizing active ingredients, it leaves lips supple and comfortable. So I have to say, I definitely feel the powdery finish, but yet it's not dry. It hasn't like dried down completely on my lips. There's still movement there. It feels comfortable, but I do want to show you what happened. So, you know, I just used this and can you see all those little bumps on there? I can actually feel that texture when I'm applying this. So it does, I don't feel any texture on my lips, but I definitely, you know, I I feel it when I'm rubbing the bullet over my lips. So just something to note. But I think the color is really nice. Let me bring you in a little closer to see it. Just have a little dry skin patch right there, sorry. This is number 32 satin in Rose Palmette. And what it says is it's a light filled satin finished lipstick Rose Palmette is a joyful and vibrant pink with a touch of wild rose. Its texture, as fine as it is rich, delivers vibrant, long-lasting color. It offers softness and comfort. And I already have some of the other satin lipstick shades, and this feels the same to me as those do. I do find these comfortable. They're a very nice formula. They're not the best formula ever, in my opinion, but they are very nice. It feels very much like the matte lipstick, except you don't have that powdery aspect to it. But that same amount of slip is in both formulas. Here is Rose Pommette. And last up we have Rose Ombre. So with all of these shades, you really only need one pass around the lips to get full color. Adding more does not really impart more pigment to your lips. It just makes it a little bit thicker and creamier. So this is shade Rose Ombre, and what it says is a light-filled satin finished lipstick. Rose Ombre evokes a discreet and soft rosewood. Its texture, as fine as it is rich, delivers vibrant, long-lasting color it offers softness and comfort. So you can see there's like a touch of rosewood in here, but typically when I wear a shade that is considered rosewood, there's definitely a little bit more like a burnished red tone to it than this is. This is definitely more nude than uh, what I would typically think of as a rosewood lipstick. I really like this color a lot. Rose Ombre. Just one more lip swatch I wanted to show you. This is Rose Ombre with Rose Palmette on top. And I just wanted to show you the combination of these two together. So it does mute down Rose Palmette a little bit. And I think it makes Rose Palmette a little bit more, you know, fall-like than it is on its own. On its own, it really seems more of like a bright pop of, you know, a summer pink to me. So let me bring you in closer. 
So this is the mix of rose ombre and rose pomette. Thank you for joining me for these lip swatches. I just want to point out a few more things. So I did just uh, confirm that the limited edition shades will not be available in refills. You obviously can refill your limited edition packaging, but the, the actual refills will not come in those particular colors. Another thing to note is all of these lipsticks do have a fragrance to them. And I don't find the fragrance to be overpowering, but it is there. So if that's something that bothers you. You might want to skip these. I personally really like all three of these shades. So I'm glad I picked these up. But again, I don't find the Hermes lipstick formula to be the best. So in my experience with the satin shades, they can be a little bit drying on the lips. So if your lips are already a little bit dry to start with, I would recommend using like a thin layer of lip balm or something underneath. And when you first apply these lipsticks, both the matte and the satin, you know, you've got a lot of slip between your lips, you know, a little bit more of that silicone feeling and it feels very moisturizing. But as you wear them more, um, you know, just know the matte, it doesn't dry down completely to a matte feeling, at least not so far in my experience, but in general, both the satin and the matte dry down a bit. So you're not going to keep that sort of slip on your lips throughout the day. I hope that makes sense. So it's sort of like you just have a very thin layer of the actual pigment. It's not going to end up feeling like a traditional lipstick that feels a little bit thicker on your lips. And it doesn't feel like one of those newer formulations that are more balmy. It's really more of just like a thin layer of pigment that you're depositing on your lips and you know it's smooth and it's comfortable but you know don't expect it to feel like you know super moisturizing in my opinion all three of these lipsticks are available online at hermes as well as in their boutiques and they are also available online at nordstrom and this is true for the u.s but these shades have not been released in other countries as of yet to my knowledge I believe those will be coming in the next couple weeks. So pay attention for that. I believe somewhere around early to mid October, they will be released. One more time with the swatches. I have to say, I'm very happy that I purchased all three of these. I think this rose ombre shade is gonna be like the perfect kind of nude rose shade for me. I really like this color. And this matte one, I can't wait to kind of test out more. So. These two would be my favorites. I really do like this bright pop of pink, but I think for me, I that imbues more of like a summer vibe. So I don't know how much I'll be wearing it right now, but I do really like the color. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you haven't already checked out my original review on the Hermes lipsticks, I will leave that here for you to check out and you can definitely get some more product information from there. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon.